hello friends welcome to my youtube channel in this video you are going to learn how to pass code transcript mcqs test so before starting video if you are new on my channel then please subscribe my channel so first of all before starting test make sure you must read all these code transcript transcription guideline rules these guideline rules is very important you must read all these guidelines all the way to the end one to two times. This will help you in MCQ test as well as during the audio test exam. Because audio test exam is very important, uh, you need to apply all these transcription guidelines into the audio test. So after reading these uh, guidelines, you easily pass go transcript test. So let's start MCQ test first. To apply for transcriber position, you must complete quiz 100% correct using our guideline. Each question can have one or more correct answer. So, first question is, first question is grammatical question and question is dash good friends. There are three different options and correct option of first question is A, they are and C, they are. So these two are both correct option of first question good facts. So second question is if, if a speaker spell the word how will it look in the transcription. There is four different option and if you check in transcription guideline related to spell word so if a speaker spell word or name for example my name is Anna so in this way all letter write in capital and in between write dashes so in this way you spell a word so according to the transcription guideline First option is false, second option is correct option. My name is this and all character is written in capital form and in between dashes. So this is the correct option of second question. Other two options are also false option. Third question is the correct form of time stamping is you simply check in transcription guideline page and search time stamping. So time stamping format must be this and always in bold form. This is the correct format of time stamping. So simply check the correct time stamping. So B is the correct option of hard question. Other three option A, C and D are false option. If you have any doubt, you simply read transcription guideline to easily understand which one option is correct option. Fourth question is how should we transcribe and punctuate filler word in full bar BTM? There is four different options and you simply read transcription guideline related to the clean bar BTM and full bar BTM and you easily understand how we write filler word in full war btm and in clean war btm so after written the transcription guideline in in these four option option b is the correct option it is correctly uh, punctuated in full war btm 
So this is the correct option of fourth question. Fifth question is how should a worker transcribe the company name? Simply check transcription. So, if you read all these transcription guidelines, you easily understand which option is correct option. So, this fifth question is option A, A is the correct option. option according to the research on Google, LinkedIn, YouTube and Sarka. So, fifth question answer is first one. Sixth question is full war VTM includes. So, you simply check transcription guideline and go to the full war VTM section. This is the full war VTM section. And here you see these are included in full war VTM speech error false start, filler word, slang word, starters, repetition and so on. So full word medium include speech error, slang word, filler word, repetition, starters and false starts. All these six options are correct option of sixth question. Let's move to the seventh question. Seventh question is a grammatical question and question is I dash to gym last night. So correct option of this question is went. I went to the gym last night. And eighth question is how should you transcribe numbers? So there are two different options and correct option is option B. 1, 9, 10, 100. However, exceptions can be applied to improve readability, money, years, measurement, and percentage. If you have any doubt, you simply read transcription and there is spell out single digit numbers, here, number of for this, and so on, money, years, K, and percentage. If you read this section, you easily understand why this option is correct option. And second last question, ninth question is what is the basic rule a worker should follow while transcribing the audio? So there is three different options and first option is when quoting the first word of a complete sentence should be capitalized. Yes, this is the correct option. You should never use exclamation mark. Yes, this is also correct option. And third is the beginning of every sentence should be capitalized. Yes, this is also correct option. So, ninth question answer is all these three options are correct option. If you have any doubt, you simply read transcription guideline. This will help you in MCQ test as well as audio test. So, you need must read these transcription guidelines. So after this, let's move to the last question. What should you do to the parts of words? Simply read the transcription guideline and here is the if there is a parts word in the audio, transcribe them word for word. So tenth question answer is Transcribe it word for word. So after selecting all question answer, you need to simply click on confirm. After clicking on confirm, you move to the next page of transcript audio 
test. So in the next video I will show you how to pass Go Transcript audio test. The link of the audio test is in video description. So make sure to check this link as well. So how to pass Go Transcription audio test. So I hope this video is helpful for you. If you have any doubt related to any question, you simply ask me in comment section. I will answer there. So like this video. Don't forget to subscribe my YouTube channel. Thank you very much. See you soon in the next video.